Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Manzanero and we are going to learn more about verbs. Verbs, verbs, verbs. Okay, we are going to be adding ed at the end and ing at the end to show past and present, but we're going to focus on those verbs that have the short vowel sound. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's review. We know that verbs are action words. They usually tell us what the noun is doing when we read a sentence. So here are examples of verbs. So we have run, jump, sleep, and eat. Okay, so the nouns are the ones in the picture and it tells us what they are doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else verbs do for us. Verbs can also tell us when. So it, they tell us when the action happened. Okay, so there are three tenses. We have the past tense, present tense, and future tense. Let's go ahead and take a look at the past tense verbs. These are verbs that tell what has already happened. And yes, they usually end with an ed. We add the ed inflectional ending. So we get words like looked, smiled, and waved. We also have the present tense. Present tense verbs tell about what is happening now, okay? And these verbs usually end with ing. So we can say that he is smiling, okay? ing makes an ing sound, so smiling. Um, he is smiling at her. Or we can also say he is driving up the street. So that would tell us that it is happening in the present. Present means now. We also have the last tense, which is the future tense. These are verbs that tell what will happen later. So something, sometime in the future. It, ha it didn't happen yet. It isn't happening now, but it will happen. So there's that key word right there, will. We add will in front of the verb. So for example, we have will smile. She will smile at that man. Hasn't happened, but she will later. Okay, um, I will wave at my friend. Okay, I will read for my homework. Okay, so those the word will in front of our verb tells us that it will happen in the future. Has it happened yet? It will happen later. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these verbs right here. So I'm going to I'm going to have them pop up on your screen and I want you to read them, okay? Go ahead. Here's our first one. That's right. Tag. Clap good slip hop stop spot spot very good here's the last one right here hum good job now these are all verbs these are things that you can see someone doing or you can do them themselves you can clap we can slip we can stop doing something we can hop and so forth what I want you to do now, though, is to listen at, uh, listen to their vowel sound, okay? Vowel sound. So here I have tag, has an ah sound. Hop has an ah. Stop has an ah. Slip has an i. Hum has an uh. All right? Now, I don't know, but I think these verbs have a short vowel sound. What do you guys think? Well, what do short vowels sound like? These are your vowels right here in red. We have a, a short vowel sound A sounds like A. Ah. E for short E. Short I says I. Short O says A. Ah. And short U says A. Uh. So we have A, ah, E, eh, I, A, ah, A. Uh. You will hear those short vowel sounds in our verbs. All right? Let's look at those verbs one more time. This time, I want you to know that all of these verbs have a short vowel and followed by one consonant, okay? Consonants, non-vowels. Okay, so again, here are our vowels. And let's go ahead and look at that first word. We have tag, tag. Notice that there is a short A sound with a G at the end. So there's a consonant. We have clap, there's our short vowel, and I've underlined the consonants. So I hear it, there it is, ip, slip, h, op, hop, 
stop. Okay, notice that there's a vowel with one consonant, and these vowels are short. Sp, ot, spot, and we have our short U sound. Hum, hum. All right, so what would happen if we add ed to these words or if we add ing? All right, let's find out. All right, so here is our inflectional ending ed. Now remember when we're adding ed, it tells us about what already happened. So we're going to put these words in the past. Okay, remember the past tense verb. Here is our first word that we, um, from one of our list of verbs earlier. The word is tag. And of course, we notice that this is an a ah with the consonant G. We actually need to double. We have to double the G and then add ED. When we double the consonant at the end, it keeps the vowel short. All right, so that is the key thing that we're going to be doing. We have to double the final consonant to keep the vowel short. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it with our next word. The word is slip. Okay, slip. Okay, now let's go ahead and double the P and then add ED. We get slipped. Slipped. Okay, so we have the word tagged and slipped. Notice that my ED sounds like d, tagged, and slipped, slipped. So sometimes it makes a d sound and sometimes it makes a t sound. And take a look at this one. Here is the word spot, spot. Now we're going to add ED, but we have to double that final consonant. Okay, take a look. There's there are two T's now. So notice that we're doubling it, then we add the ED. Now here's a here's one thing you need to know. If the if it ends with a, a T or a D, we're gonna have to read it like this. Spotted. Spotted. So the ED would make the id sound, okay? Spotted. Let's go ahead and read these words. We have tagged, slipped, spotted, spotted. Alright? So notice that we still add the ED at the end, and sometimes it makes the d sound, sometimes it makes the t sound sometimes it makes it sound all right now let's go ahead and work on um this was a past tense verb let's go ahead and work on the present tense verbs inflectional ending ing remember adding ing tells us about what is happening now so this is the present tense these are verbs that tell what is happening now and when we show that something is happening now we add ing to the verb so let's go ahead and work with the same three words we have tag now tag has a short vowel followed by one consonant we need to keep the short vowel so we have to double that g okay so we have tag ing tagging she is tagging me while we play freeze tag. Okay, here's our next one. Our next one says slip. Here's our short vowel I, followed by a consonant P. We need to double the P and then add ing. We get slipping, slipping. Okay, my hands are slipping from the monkey bars. And here's our last verb that we will work with. So here is the word spot. Spot has a short O sound followed by that consonant. So we need to double the consonant T. We get spotting, spotting. She is spotting her pet over there, spotting. Okay, so two big rules. First rule is that if it has a short vowel followed by um, a consonant, we need to make sure we keep it a short vowel. So second step to our rule, or second rule would be double the consonant. All right? All right, boys and girls, you did an awesome job, but now it's time to practice. Okay, now remember these verbs have a short vowel followed by one consonant. Before you add ed or ing, remember to double that consonant, okay? Great job, bye.